apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I soared through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for May 3rd, 2011. First up today, I want to talk about Falling Fred. Falling Fred. This is a universal app, and it's free for a limited time only. You play as Fred or several other little ragdoll physics guys, and you're falling down a shaft. And that's pretty much the entire game. You're trying to fall as far as you can. There's all kinds of obstacles that are going to get in your way. And eventually there's ridiculous obstacles like giant saw blades and fans that you'll fly through. And you're trying to make it just as far as you can without damaging yourself too much. And I have to admit... It's pretty hilarious to see your guy just smash into stuff. It's pretty gory. What's really cool about it is that after you complete a fall, you are able to watch a replay of that fall, so you can show that off. Kind of cool. If that sounds fun to you, check out Falling Fred. Next up, I have Berserk Ball. Berserk Ball. And in Berserk Ball, there's a big nerdy guy standing at the edge of a cliff, and you play as one of several different characters that uses some sort of bat to hit this nerd as far as it'll go. It doesn't sound very cool, and actually it sounds kind of mean, but it's actually pretty funny, and it's a lot of fun. You'll you'll very quickly determine the angle and how hard based on just a little tapping game, and then you're able to control this guy in the air and try and make him fly as far as you can. He can land on different things that'll bounce him up, and you can upgrade all of your stats. There's a, there's a lot of replay to this if you just want to see how far you can hit this guy. It's a lot of fun. Check out Berserk Ball. Next app is Universal. It's Mahjong Deluxe. Mahjong Deluxe. And it's a Mahjong game. It's the Chinese puzzle game where there's all the tiles with the different symbols on them. And you have to remove them in that certain order. You have to find two that are alike. And it's it's really relaxing. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool backgrounds. An unlimited number of puzzles. I mean, if you like Mahjong, check out Mahjong Deluxe. The last app I want to talk about, I'm the most excited about, it's called Discover. Discover without the E. And this is also universal. It says it's free for a very limited time, so go ahead and grab this. And this is a music discovery application. When you open it up, it's a very clean interface. It just has a box where you'll put in a musical artist that you like. And then, kind of pinwheel style, it'll shoot off little webs of bands that are very similar to that band that you've put in. And you're able to see what bands those are similar to by just clicking on those, if you double-click these, it'll go into an artist page where it'll have a brief biography of the band, it'll show all their songs and what albums they're on, different blog posts about them, reviews, you have links directly to YouTube videos, then you can easily go back to the main map page where you see all the connections, and you can just kind of browse around, browse through these artists and listen to some of their music and see if if you're into that band. It's really cool. I definitely recommend checking out Discover without an E. And that's it. Short and sweet this week. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at thebigskillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason at all, you can do that at thedailyabster at gmail.com. And I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedailyabster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps.